Hi, George here. First thing what I always like to do whenever I'm doing an image edit like this is to just make a copy of the background, just do duplicate layer, choose OK, hide the original. That way if we make any mistakes up here, we can always just go back to our original and start over again. Now one of the things you can do over there on Perfect Pet is to crop in. Let's go ahead, we'll do that. Here's our crop button right here. I have mine set for no restriction. Let's set this for a standard four by six inch ratio. That's right there. And then I can pull my corners in a little bit until I get a nice four by six just like that, that's easy to do. Next thing they had over there was to remove that collar and that used the clone stamp tool and a lot of real careful fidgety work on that. We can do a much better job here, easier and faster. Let me take a little bit of clone stamp, but not that much. I'll just zoom in a little bit like this. Let's grab one of our marquee tools and I'll grab the lasso, which is right here, lasso. And let's just make a quick lasso just right around that collar and I'll grab a little bit of the shadow as well in there. There we go, just right around here up around here. Now this is the hard part right against that edge because they have the fur kind of overlap kind of the collar. We'll see if we can clean it up a little bit. It may take just a little bit of cleanup afterwards, but it's going to be worth it. Go back to your beginning point. There is that. Click on refine edge right here. I have mine set on overlay. It's easy to use. I'm just going to pull it just right along that edge, right where those whiskers are. See if we can improve that just a bit. Right in there. And let that do that. Looks good. Output to selection, choose OK. Now here we can actually can do magic on this. And that's up here. Edit, come down to fill selection and use content aware fill. I actually thought that this is what the perfect pet would do, but it didn't do this. So choose OK. There we go. Look how easy that was. OK, select and deselect. And that was an easy fix. And that's a little bit dark right in here. Or so we might have a little bit of a problem. Easy to fix. I'll go over here. And we'll go up to this tool here, come down to the Dodge tool right there. Let's set this for shadows instead. And let's zoom in a bit on this. And so it's just got a little bit of a hard edge right there. I want to tone down that hard edge just a touch. So back to our Dodge tool. Let's bring our size down. It's still way too large. Let me bring it down to about five. That's pretty good. And I'm just going to come in here and just tap into some of that dark edge right in there. It's still a little bit too fast. Let me bring the exposure down to 10%. And that should be enough so we can just ease into that. Now this is a little bit more work than we had over there, except that this is the easy part. This is much easier than the clone stamp tool. I'm just tapping in here just enough just to soften up that darkness in there. The reason why this is easier is I'm not trying to match any one spot to a different spot. I'm just lightening up an area. And just go along and just tone down just a touch of that edge right in there. And that's all that we need. And then it's going to look perfect. Once that's done, you know, I'm just brushing over the edge and we get a much cleaner, much better effect in here. Now I'm seeing a little bit of a green tint. I can clean that up as well. We'll get that real fast once I get this taken care of. Just work along the edge here and just knocking out just the darkest of those dark spots, but still leaving in that fur. And that way we're going to lose if we tried the clone stamp. It would have gone away. We wouldn't have had that. So this is a much, much better technique. Okay, just about have it right over here. Now we're on a white dog, so I can get rid of that green tint just by going over and using the sponge tool right here. This is the desaturate tool. Let me bring my size way down. There we go. I'm just going to come and brush right over where some of that green is right here. Now you're able to, with that other tool, to remove a color cast. I only have a color cast just in a couple of spots. I don't want to remove from the whole picture. I just want to take it off just a couple of spots. And that's all we have to do right there. And that's taken care of. I see a little line right here. Let's just go back again to our Dodge tool. Let me just do just a little bit right along that line here just to make it absolutely perfect. There we go. And that looks good. Okay, let's go back to fit screen. Absolutely perfect. You don't see that color in there in the least. Much, much better effect here. Higher quality. We still have that little hairs showing here on the chin. We wouldn't have had those with Perfect Pet. It would have been kind of a hard, very fuzzy edge here as opposed to the fur showing much better quality effect over here. Again, I really don't like that perfect pet at all. Now, one thing else which we could do there was to darken the background and brighten the foreground a little bit. We can do that here as well. With that, I'm going to be making a couple of layers in here. We'll do one for the background and then one for the foreground. So let's go over here to this layer and I'll use the select subject, just like we had over there in perfect pet. And there's a little bit right here. Notice that this didn't get quite as much. And there's a little bit right here that's kind of weird. I want to get rid of that, so 
I'll grab any selection tool. This will work out fine. I want to subtract from my selection. I'm just going to draw a loop around that. Removes that. That fixes that. Let's now go to refine edge. And with this, I'm going to go just right around the whole edge here of the puppy. Do it in little strokes. And this is going to be a much better edge where the puppy is going up against this deck that he's on. Much better effect. We won't have any semblance in here of any kind of a hard or weird edge. Just a little bit of that right along the edge of the puppy. This will bring back in any little hairs in there, any little fur that's kind of stick on the edge. and be much more naturalistic looking. And it's easy to do. You just brush right along the edge here. Do it in little short strokes. There's a little bit of fur on the top. This will be saving that fur on the top. And you'll see what I'm doing with this in just a second. It's right around the ear here. And we save that fur along the back side. And then just right down over to here. That cleans that edge up. There we go. Okay, now let's go over here and we're going to go to new layer with layer mask, which is a K. That gives us a new layer with the puppy just by itself on that layer mask. It hides the layer underneath. We don't want to do that. Let's show that layer again. So now the puppy is separate from the background layer. And the reason why I did that was one extra step, but that allows me a lot more control over the background and the foreground. For this, we're going to be going up here to layer, come down to new adjustment layer. I'll just use the levels control where it says use previous layer. Check that one. Choose OK. We're now going to adjust the values of our background right in here. I can darken down the darks a little bit here. I can adjust my midtone values. I just want it a bit darker around the puppy, just kind of like that. Notice how clean that edge is now on this. I think that's pretty good right here. A bit more saturated. Looks a lot better. There's without and there's with. Let's now go to our puppy layer. Same trick up here. Layer, new adjustment layer, levels. Same thing. Use that checkbox right there. Choose OK. And I want to lighten the puppy up just a little bit, but I don't want to be losing any of our values in here on the dark side. So I can bring back in some of that with the dark side here and maybe lighten the light up just a little bit. And I can increase the contrast a bit of the puppy this way. Very controlled. Here's before and here's after. Much better looking picture right there. So by doing this in expert mode, I was able to separate these into a couple of different sections. And that gave me a lot more control. Plus, because I did this with adjustment layers, I can go back here, I can double click on an adjustment, bring it back up and readjust again. So I have that control as well. So there we go. Much better effect, I think, over here. And really didn't take any appreciable amount of time to do this, but it's much higher quality than you had with that perfect pit. That's one of those guided edits. I really just don't see any reason for that even to exist. I think this is easy to do and it's much better here in expert mode.